Just like everyone else, justice has seen um, what goes on on the news, all of the young black men who have been targeted by cops. But he doesn't think that's ever gonna happen to him. Uh, he goes to a fancy prep school. He got an awesome score on his SATs and he's going to an Ivy League college. Till one night, a cop sees Justice helping his drunk, white, unconscious girlfriend into her very expensive car. So of course, automatically, the cop assumes that Justice is trying to steal the car, or worse. And the next thing Justice knows, he's face down on the parking lot with his hands cuffed behind him. Now, that could turn out a lot worse than what it did. Um, but even so, Justice is furious about what's happened to him. And in order to try to figure it out and deal with his feelings, he starts writing letters to Dr. Martin Luther King, thinking about King's practices, his peaceful protests, and trying to figure out how that can work in today's world. Um, but what Justice doesn't know is that things are going to get worse before they get better. And because of that, he begins to question whether Dr. King's peaceful forms of protest really do work in today's world. Um, so this is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. Um, and there is uh, the sequel, Dear Justice, which has just come out. Um, so if you like Dear Martin, you can read Dear Justice as well. Mm -hmm.